Let's take a look at how to add bleed in Canva. So the bleed in Canva is set to a production standard, but you can add it. We don't have any bleed on this document right now. You can't even see it. But if we go to file, down to view settings, we can see show print bleed. So if we click on this, you can see that the bleed has been added. There is a uh, dotted line around our original size artwork and then the extra bleed space. Now, you may have to increase your background size to make sure you fit that in case there's elements that don't go all the way, stretch all the way outside of the bleed. So if we click on one of these, let's see what we get. So that was an example for a moment there, but I think because it's a colored background, it went ahead and extended it. What we need is something that has a photo background. So I think this one's a good example here. Yeah, so this has actually a photo in the background, and that photo doesn't extend to the edge. You can see some of this blue area here. That means that this will not actually export properly. So in this case, I would want to double click on that photo background and make sure I extend it past the canvas or move it to make sure that it extends past the bleed in my document. And once I've done that, I could click off of the photo, and you can see how it extends all the way past the bleed all the way around this design. Now that you have that, that's when you would go to share, down to download, and then you would select PDF print, which would be the highest quality print setting, and you have to make sure to select crop marks and bleed. You wanna include that in the PDF if you're actually exporting with bleed. From there, of course, if you're sending it to a printer, they probably want it in CMYK, which is a Canva Pro feature, but otherwise, if you're printing it for yourself with some bleed, you can just select RGB if you really want, and then download. And that will include the bleed in your document, and you can see where that bleed is here, and then stretch your graphics or scale them around just to make sure they cover uh, and go off the page if you have graphics that go outside of the uh, size, or if you have graphics that go to the edge of your document, that's what the bleed is there for, so they can trim it off and you actually have a nice clean design. That's how you can add bleed here in Canva.